You know, last Shabbos we read in the portion of the week, and this is the Torah from the Ishbitze. Last Shabbos we read that God told Moshe, God told Moses, tell the children of Israel to give gifts to build the Holy Temple. And this gift is called Truma, Truma. Truma comes, means gift, but it has two more meanings. Truma comes from the word, you know, the Romain, high. And also Truma comes from the word Lahavdil, to separate. And on a simple level it means, let's say, have ten dollars and they give five dollars for the holy temple, so separate this five dollars from the other five dollars, right? As simple as it is, on a simple level. And also, I'm giving it for high purpose, so it means high. Okay, this is all beautiful, but this just got to be a little bit higher than that. I want you to open your hearts, friends. Imagine I'm very wealthy, everybody knows that, in fact, you know, I was... Edison and all my wife's American Express, you know, should know of it. And um, also I'm sending my donation for the Holy Temple and then uh, pay the rest of the bills. How does it sound to you? What's missing? So he's giving every week two million dollars for the Holy Temple. But this kind of money you can't build a Holy Temple. You can build an apartment house, not the Holy Temple. Because two things are missing. It has to be separate. You don't knock off telephone bill, Con Edison, and money for the Holy Temple. Let's go one step further. It doesn't mean just money for the Holy Temple. Everything you do for God has to be separate, has to be special. If you do it in the same sentence as you do something else, forget it. Forget it. Don't waste your time. Don't waste God's time. One more thing. And listen to this, friends. You know, so to speak, we are in God's hands. And also, humanly speaking, God is in our hands. What happens to me, that's in God's hands. But you know what is in my hands? To make God high or low. That's in my hands. I can make God so high. I can drag God down so low, so meaningless, so empty. So non-special. You know, friends, a lot of people who believe in God but the God they believe in is not special. You know something, a lot of people are married and sometimes they stay at the Hilton in Istanbul, sometimes the Hilton in Tel Aviv and they come home. Same thing. And some people, when they open the door to their house, So special. Some people have two cars, two houses, and two children, and what else, and one maid, or maybe two maids. And some people, they have this also. But you know what? They have two children. I want you to know, I learned this from my father and it's just so engraved in my heart. You know, some of you know me a little better, so I was telling you stories about my father. 
that, you know, my father was just so special, really. And I remember Pesach night, every year he told us the same thing. But every year it got more into our hearts. Without telling you, now it's play on words a little bit, but whatever it is. And how good we tell the whole story of us Jewish people. So it says, you know, Abraham, Abraham, we came from the other side of Jordan, we came to the Holy Land. Abraham had Isaac, Isaac had two children. Then it says, it says, I gave Asaph at Haseir, the Yaakov Ubanav, Yordu Mitzrayim. Okay, in a nutshell. You ask Asaph, are you rich? Ha, huh. nutshell, I'm rich. Esau, very rich. What do you have? The mountain of Seir, real estate, belongs to me. Very rich. You'll ask Jacob, do you know Jacob was much richer than Esau? On a money level. But you'll ask Jacob, are you rich? He's have to have children. Or something else. You know, you can ask somebody, what are you doing all day? So you'll say, you know, I'm eight hours in my office, then I eat dinner, and then I watch television and go to sleep. You'll ask somebody else, what do you do? What's the most important thing every day? He can say, you know something? Every day I have the privilege of playing half an hour with my children. Separate, something else. So open your heart. The Ishbitzer says, listen to this, that this portion of the week, last Shabbos, the essence is that everything I'm doing for God has to be separate. It is not the same as something else. Everything I'm doing for God has to be so high, so special. And this is up to me. This is my choice. God can give it to you. What are you doing with it? You know, I'm sure you feel the same way. I've been in many houses. Say you invited for dinner. So then they bring in the children, like to knock them off, you know, say hello to the guests. Oh, okay, now you can go back and go to sleep. Good night, hey, honey, good night. Crazy. Those kids, you know, God's compassion should be upon them, you know. Heartbreaking. Sometimes you come to somebody's house and suddenly the children come in and the whole house lights up. It's just so special. So special, so special. Listen, I have watched husband and wives, you should too. I have seen the wife coming in, the husband doesn't even bother looking up, he says, oh, it's my wife. Mazel tov. And he's eating dinner, so what can you do, you know? It says in the Bible, you're not permitted to look up from the plate. You didn't see it in the Bible? Which version are you reading? <laughs> Must be the old fashioned. Listen, I have a letter from Moses writing to God. Please take care of the printer. He took out the most important sentence. <laughs> anyway. Nothing, you know. And I want you to open your hearts even wider. God cursed the snake that the snake should eat dust. So everybody is asking the question, so what's so terrible about it? In the meantime, the snake is never hungry. It's a gewalt, right? The snake is never trouble, not with income tax, not with anybody. 
the snake has everything she needs. Okay, there are two million answers. Let me tell you one. You know what that means the snake is eating dust? That means when the snake eats dust, it tastes like dust? Oh, and you can give the most delicious food to the snake? It also tastes like dust. Everything is dust. Nothing. You and I, we have met a lot of snake people in our lives. Everything is nothing. Everything is dust. Everything is a joke. Nothing. This are the this are the snake people. The tree of knowledge people. Then there's the tree of life people. They know the difference between dust and and a Friday night challah, right? Something else. Mm -hmm.